After dominating the Capitals for almost half the game and going up 2-0 on them, the Flames lose the game against the Capitals last night in a shootout, and they allowed Matthew Phillips to score his first NHL goal against the team that drafted him. As much as that loss hurts yesterday, you can't help but be happy for this kid. And it's because they have two of the highest salaries on the team, but I've really noticed that when the Flames lose, the microscope gets absolutely zoomed in on Jonathan Huberdeau and Nazem Kadri. That's going to happen when you make $10.5 million and $7 million in a Canadian market. And I fully realize a few videos ago, I was praying that Jonathan Huberdeau would come out with a bang and start the season on the right foot and show people, hey, I am still an elite player. And he hasn't really done that. I mean, yesterday he had a terrible game. And the other two, he showed some flashes, but nothing that really made you go, wow, that's why they paid him 10.5. But this could end up biting me in the behind if he keeps playing like this for the rest of the season. But I'm still at that point where I'm preaching patience. Let's stick with the guy and see what he's got. It's a brand new season. They're on the road. And I fully realize his only goal in the season was a no-look backhander that was going 10 feet wide. But he's still got three points in three games. I mean, it's not like he's gone pointless and is minus 10. But still, during the Flames game yesterday, Huberdeau was trending on Twitter in Canada. And I fully understand the fans' frustration. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing the way this guy is playing and with the money he's making. I get it. I do. But before last season, this guy was over a point a game in four straight seasons. You don't just lose that forever because you got the cheese touch or something. And I thought Robert Munich put it best on Twitter. Jonathan Huberto has been one of the best playmakers in the NHL over the last 6-7 to seven seasons prior to joining the Flames, but I don't know what happened to him in Calgary. He was terrible tonight. He is struggling to make simple plays. He looks nothing like an elite player. That's 100% true. And notice how he's not saying, this guy is done. He will never be a good playmaker ever again. He's just saying that he looks completely different than he did before, and that particular game, he looked terrible. You know who else has looked bad at points to start the season? Connor McDavid. His only goal was a gift of a rebound, he's minus four in his first two games only, and he slept walk through some periods here. But hey, he's gonna be fine and everybody knows it. Now, I'm not saying Huberto's on McDavid's level, not even in the same stratosphere, I'm just saying it really puts into perspective, oh yeah, it really is only the beginning of the season. Just because Huberto didn't have an Austin Matthews type start to the season, doesn't mean he's not gonna have a bounce back year. Now again, I'm fully ready to get dunked on if he comes back with another 50-point season here. I'm ready. Bring me back this video. I will eat this crow, I promise you. Because yeah, he has not been dynamic at all and nowhere near worth $10.5 million. But I think the intensity of the scrutiny this early on is insane. And I know that comes with the Canadian market, but I'm just imploring people to just relax a little bit. I promise you, if this keeps going for the next 10, 15, 20 games, I'm going to be right there along with you criticizing him for his play. But I just think that it's too early, man. It's too early to be like, this guy's done. Forget about him. <laughs> Get him off the power play. Obviously, that last one's an exaggeration, but a lot of people I was seeing are genuinely thinking this guy's legitimately washed and he's never going to get over like 60, 70 points ever again. If there weren't 79 more of these things, I would be right there with you. He's totally washed up and terrible, but there's just too much season left to be played for me to buy into this and officially write him off for good as not an elite player anymore. He did it too consistently for too long. For me to stop believing that he can be a cornerstone franchise piece. I still do believe that. I could feel completely differently at the end of the season, but that's how I feel right now. Let me know your thoughts. Oh my goodness, this is going to be something else in the comments down here. I'm going to be reading it, and it's going to be fiery, I bet. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.